everybody. I got a bonus episode for Cleaning and Cocktails here. We are at Spartan Headquarters, and I am pleased to have Mr. Frank the Tank, is what I call him. I don't know if anybody else calls <laughs> no, him Frank the problem. Tank, right? No, no. It's just me. That's a good but name. Frank with, with Spartan Chemical, uh, an old friend, a dear friend. But what I wanted to say is, if you guys remember the last episode, or not episode, I'm sorry, the event that we had in D.C., where Frank got up, we invited him on to, to speak and share some knowledge a little bit, and he left us with almost... The, the the end, it couldn't have been a better ending to that event to lead to is today I want to allude, allude to more of what Frank was talking about back then in D.C. at our Cleaning and Cocktails event number three. And Frank, that was, you you kind of not took us by surprise, but people love that we ended with the fact of how important you thought cleaning was, the value of clean. Yeah. We're not cleaning to clean. Um, you said respect what we do us as cleaning contractors and our technicians, we do a job that should be respected. Exactly. And I wanted to pick up right back from exactly. there, if you don't mind. No, my whole point is, you know, cleaning should not be considered a commodity. It's something that's got to be done every day. And we're trying to get people that value the clean value of what we do. You know, people are turning over an asset to us that may be worth nine hundred million dollars, and you're cleaning with people that you're paying minimum wage to. And that's that's not. Would you give your kids? to babysit with somebody who, you know, they're not qualified. Yeah. So I think what we have to do is, and COVID helped us out, it raised the level of what we do as a true value. And I think we should continue this. I think we should, our industry should get more educated. Uh, I'm glad you're here at Spartan. Uh, only that you, your people can see what this industry is all about, the quality products that are out there, the knowledge that is out there to keep this at a professional level. We wanna make cleaning a profession. Mm -hmm. And that's why I push and I'm, I'm adamant about it that the value of what we do each and every day is so important to not only the health of the workers, but the health of everybody. And I, I think it's a good cause. I yeah. Really so again, goosebumps, right? Frank is, because you guys, I've, I've met Frank. He was one of the first professionals. I love that you use the word professionals. He was one of the first professionals I met in the industry, thanks to Jim, Jim Miller from Spartan 2. And that from the moment I heard you speak then, and you know you you met Marley, my wife, yep. right? Which you say is why all this success has come. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She's much better looking than him, by the way. So. But uh, no, it was I saw how professional he took it, and, th and you've been in the industry of what thirty five, forty four, forty four years, forty four years, yeah. And you haven't left. I could tell you love it. You have a passion for it. You could have left many years ago, yes. but you're still in it. Yeah. And I think it's, and I commend you because I think it's because you continue to try to push that value of clean. Well, like because I see the growth of the cleaning industry. I, I see it's, it's not a commodity anymore. We have an opportunity now to really bring it up to the profession that it should be. I mean, if you think of, you're cleaning buildings, you're cleaning for health, you're protecting an asset. You're trying to make this carpet, which is very expensive, not for them to turn it over every five years, but to extend that asset for maybe another couple years to help the value of the customer. So it's not, you're not a commodity. You're just not another cleaner anymore. We should take pride. We should go for F, all the knowledge we can to make this a profession that it really deserves. Man, and, that, and again, to that point, Frank, is a lot of people, I remember early on when I first, well, you know, I'd say the first three years, I didn't tell people I own the cleaning company. Like I would walk into a business yeah. networking event and they'd be like- You, you shouldn't know, be ashamed of Because everybody asks you, oh, what do you do? What do you yeah, do? Yeah. What do you do? They you know, size you up, right? Yeah. Uh, and I'll tell you now, I walk in, and I put my chest and I'm like, yeah, I own a, a cleaning service company. Um, I'm in the facilities industry. I, I'm in the health I'm business. I'm in health business, yeah, right? I'm taking care of your building, right? Exactly. And I think everybody's starting to see that though. Like again, COVID did bring a spotlight, but like you said, it, it can't stop there, right? Like we got to continue to raise the bar. Um, you've said it many times. And that's why I wanted to get you on real quick for a snippet is guys, like this guy is, is a professional in the space. We're in a professional facility, which many of you are going to see. We may or may not be having a cleaning and cocktails here at Spartan uh, headquarters, but and it's not just because of the, the Spartan brand, to be honest with you, Frank. It's everybody here. You know, I, I know everybody's first name. I talk to you guys. I have relationships. There's a passion for the industry. Exactly. It's a passion here. And we want we to transcend that passion to everyone in the industry because, you know, people think, oh, you're in the cleaning business, you're a commodity, you get your chemicals from somebody that makes them in a bathtub. That's not the case. I mean, cleaning, we're here for cleaning for health. And it's never been brought to this level, unfortunately or unfortunately, COVID did. 
but we've got to maintain that level. It's funny, we spoke to somebody the other day and I asked them, I said, is COVID cleaning still that people are still worried about cleaning and everything? He said, well, it's kind of waned, but the new is how are we going to get the people back in the building? By offering them a cleaner environment and a cleaner building. So what we do, the value is there. We just have to make sure we keep emulating that and be more professional, the more knowledge, and really be the true professions that we are. Man, so Frank, that was a nugget, but like, what, what would you leave for people that are, you know, listen again, remember we, we've had you on earlier uh, a couple of years ago and the audience is a smaller contractor, but he, as well as the mid and larger contractors, but those that are listening and watching, what, what are you excited about and looking forward to, not just the rest of this year, but in the next coming years for the industry? I'm excited. And again, I think it's up to us to keep the momentum. But again, we are finally viewed as not just cleaners or just another cleaning company. You're actually cleaning professionals. You're actually protecting people's assets and also helping their health. So it's we're, we're more health workers than we are. In fact, COVID showed that. Cleaners were actually elevated to, to actually essential, relate to the right? health, essential, essential people. Yes. So... We have to keep that mentality. Do not downgrade yourself. You're going to have some days and people don't show up and you may be scrubbing the floor yourself, but it's a profession that's needed and it's a profession that we, that we have to move up to something that people are going to respect. And I think they're starting to respect it now. And I think the more we do things like this, give them knowledge, show them what's really the background of the cleaning, we're going to, there's nothing but good for us. Nice. Well, Frank. I appreciate you, my yeah, man. Sure. Thank you for taking the time. Wife for me. Appreciate yes, it. Absolutely. We'll do. And we will see you again. And we will see you guys all yeah. again. So thank you again for tuning in on another Cleaning and Cocktails bonus episode. Thank you and cheers. Cheers.